Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. In this lesson, we are going to learn about some of the visualization panel available in Grafana. So let's go ahead and click on new dashboard, click on add visualization. Let's select Prometheus data source. Now here you can see we have time series and several other visualization panels. So let's go ahead and see the state timeline. Now state timeline is quite useful when you want to show a state of something over time. For example, let's say you want to show total number of application hits coming to your application over a certain period of time, or let's say you want to see the status of of server over certain timelines so in those kind of situation this panel is quite useful so let's go ahead and change the panel title state timeline demo and now here in the query we are going to use up again now i'm using up because it is quite easier to understand now let's go ahead click on run queries you can see once we click on run queries we can see all of these servers now we want to show only the server name so we are going to go ahead and change it to custom and we are going to call it instance now here you can see we are able to see only the server name and here we are going to change it to let's say last 30 minutes. Now you can see it is showing us multiple states. It is showing us one state as 80 and another one is less than 80 and this is coming from the threshold. So we are going to go ahead and scroll down here. You already know that for matrix up we have only two states. We have state of 0 and 1. So this is going to be for 0 and we are going to keep a color of red and we are going to change it to 1 and we are going to keep its color of green. So basically at this period of time this server was down and at this point of time you can see that our db server was down for 1 minute 45 seconds now let's go ahead click on apply so i'm just going to go ahead and bring up this app underscore server 2 i have intentionally kept it down just to show you how it's going to look like so i have brought this server up now we can change the refresh interval to 5 seconds we are just going to wait for a few seconds and we should be able to see the green bar appearing here Okay, now you can see green bar has starting appearing here. So now you can quickly visualize that for how long this server was down. You can see that for 7 minute 30 seconds, our app server 2 was down. Now here you can see it is showing value of 1 or 0. So if you want to maybe show it as on and off, you can do that. Let's go ahead and edit it. And we are going to just scroll down under the standard options. You can go ahead and change the unit to on and off Here you can see we have boolean on off so i'm just going to select that one so now you can see it is going to show you whether it was on or less than on we can also try to do a value mapping let's say if i change it to value of one should be shown as up and let's say another value which is zero should be shown as down let's go ahead click on update okay so editing value here is basically doesn't have any effect so we are going to just leave it as it is let's go ahead click on apply and now let's go ahead and see other type of visualization so let's click on visualization and we are going to select status history so status history is also pretty similar so let's go ahead and add up let's click on run queries and you can see this one is also quite similar so we are going to go ahead and change it to custom and we are going to see only server names. Now here again it is showing green because here you can see we have threshold for anything between 79 to 0 we are going to see green and for 80 we are going to see red. Now this is not what we want so we are going to change it to base which is going to be 0 in our case and this one is going to be 1 and for 1 we want to change it to green color. Now click on apply. So you can see this is how both of them are gonna look like. Again you can play around with how these bars are gonna look like. So let's go ahead click on edit. I'm just going to change the panel title going to call it status history demo and here you can see we have and here you can see under status history we have many items to play around for example you can decide how's the row height gonna look like. I can minimize it. I can maximize it. Okay so let's say we want to keep it here. We also have column width so either we can reduce the column width or we can increase the column width. We also have line width. We also have line width so you can see if I increase or decrease it this is how it's gonna look like. So let's say maybe I want to keep it like this and we also have fill opacity. So you can play around with this and let's go ahead click on apply. So this is how it's gonna look like. 